Look at you. Don't you look very regal today? Hello and welcome back to the channel. The news, nothing. I'm Jim and let's get to it. So today we're diving on into which Hell of Us character are you most like? It was a bite and a run, wasn't it? You want to be part of it and then you don't. It's very confusing. Oh, there I go. There's the tail. <laughs> so let's just dive on in to the first question um, is what's something you could be caught doing on an afternoon when you don't have any work or chores to do? Hmm, that is a confusing one. Um, <laughs> Astrid. Okay, now she's finally off the desk. Um, what, to, okay. Um, have a personal fashion show. That's absolutely not happening. Go shopping. Read or watch TV like a normal person. What the hell's wrong with you? Some, texting my friends nonstop. Reading some particular spicy fanfics. Admit it, we've all done it. Uh, stalk your ex so ex oh, soulmate wait significant other why did I think that was soulmate god I'm stupid it's the dyslexia um ex bestie ugh. literally just I think I'm just gonna pick the normal one right I'm just gonna pick this one um then we have what's your biggest fear Everything and everyone I hold dear in my life will suddenly disappear and leave me and I'll be left all alone with no allies. Absolutely not. Uh, being considered useless and pathetic by everyone. Failure. Being judged by others. Never finding love slash a best friend. Finally being vulnerable with someone only for them to suddenly push me away. Ooh, that's a bit yikes. Only because of the most recent episode I've watched. Uh, not being able to protect my loved ones. My own emotions. Insects. Uh, getting kidnapped. Uh, oh my god. I think I'm just going to go this one. Uh, insects. Because uh, that's accurate. Uh, what is your favorite style of music? Heavy metal rap. I feel like it's... Actually, it's probably this. It's one of those. I think I'm going to go with musical soundtracks. How highly do you think of yourself? Um, if you want a good result, answering honestly is key. Nobody sees this but you. Uh, and the entire internet as well. Um, I'm probably the worst person there is on earth. Everyone is better than me in some ways. I don't really think that I'm that important, but I know my existence matters for something. I matter and I know that, but I'm not better than everyone else. We are all equally flawed. I think I'm pretty cool. Might be better than some people, but only the really bad ones, like criminals, <laughs> criminals and Karens, etc. I'm actually cool, cooler slash smarter than a lot of people in this world. Let's face it, a lot of humans are really dumb, but there's still people who are better and smarter than me. Um, I personally think I'm the best person in the world. I wish more people would realize that, though, because then I could help them become better too. Um, I think this one okay imagine you're online on an online social platform of your choice uh when you notice someone you follow has posted something that could have been taken as an insult or a slur against a specific group of people however you don't know if they actually mean it in that way or if they just worded things incorrectly message them privately and ask nicely if they actually meant it to insult said group of people You'll make the rest of your choices based on their response. Roll your eyes and continue scrolling. Some people debate to yourself whether or not you should say something. You don't want to make them angry, but what they said isn't right either. Immediately gather on... Oh, God. Um, <laughs> online... There's so many... Why are the answers so long? Um, immediately gather your online friends and followers and attack the individual. This is not tolerated and you can't stand by it. And let it happen. Literally not care. They're allowed to have their opinions. It's not your problem. And you don't even know if they mean it uh, to be insulting or not. Look at, uh, to see if they've posted other stuff like this. If it's their first offense, then you'll let it slide. It's as it's probably was a mistake, but you'll be watching. I think it's somewhere between like this and this. I don't like cyberbullying is a bit yikes 
like and a lot of people can especially online and like via messages and stuff things that could be taken as a joke it's hard to sort of see the way that the delivery of it is like might not necessarily sound like a joke if you read it a certain way um but people are entitled to their own opinions and i guess it's not okay if they're insulting a certain group of people depending on the on the group um but like it's it's really hard to make that judgment call online um especially if it's just like something that could be taken like out of context um i'm gonna do this one because like this is just like i would only do it if i was like super close to that person if it's someone i'm like a mutual friends with or it's like a friend of a friend like uh, yeah someone you follow like that could be fucking anybody i just don't care uh what is your best personality trait i'm brave i never back down i'm very protective of the ones i love i'm a good friend i'm honest i'm smart i always think things through i'm secure in who i am and i don't let anyone pull me down i have a big heart oh i think that might be the me um i do anything to make sure p- the people around me succeed i'm confident in myself and my abilities i think it's somewhere like uh, the ones i re- resonate with the most is like this one i'm honest i'm a good friend and, and i never back down i'm very protective i think like that falls under all the stuff that i like up here so i'm just gonna go i have a big heart what is your vert type oh amnivert is both isn't it because it depends. I'm definitely, there's like, I think there's stereotypes around introverts and extroverts. Like you have to be on all the time or you want to be off all the time. I think I'm kind of like an emni, emnivert. I can't spell. A person who is balanced. Oh yeah, I would, I would say that this is me. Uh, which weapon would you prefer to use if you needed one? A handgun, a rifle, a knife, a sword, my own hands, axe. I, like, this doesn't, like, apply to me because, like, I would never, ever, ever use one of these. Um, magic. I want to go a sword. Uh, which school stereotype fits you best? Class clown, quiet kid, nerd, popular kid, weird artsy, <laughs> fairy goth emo alt kid theater kid social floater outcast loner troublemaker bad kid tough kid the mean girl slash guy the shy sheltered kid extremely introverted bookworm um i mean like this is what i want to be this is what i feel like i am now class clown especially at work i i just feel like if you're not coming in and having a bit of a laugh with your co-workers then what's the point um but i think this the quiet kid is what i was like in school but actually i think this is the stereotype that fits me best now i'm gonna go class now uh imagine if you're wearing a new outfit that you really love when someone insults and tells you that you look ugly fat stupid etc your reaction is make a snarky compact that leaves the other person looking worse than you everyone laughs and you walk away feeling good Make a snarky comeback, but inside you feel very hurt, even though your comment may have had the desired effect. It didn't help. You think about murdering the individual, but don't actually do anything except glare. You start shouting at the other person. Honestly, whatever. You could care less. Uh, You couldn't care less about what they think. Um, The only opinion that matters is yours and maybe your friends. Immediately go tell the teacher or another authority figure. You sigh and continue on. You're used to this sort of thing at this point. It's not even worth fighting. Hopefully they get bored with no reaction and leave you alone. Um, that would be my, like, I feel like this. Like, it's, I don't like people picking on other people. I never have. And, like, so somehow it still happens to me in this day and age. Um, and my go-to is to normally, like, it's a snarky comeback, but normally it's, just to make myself look worse <laughs> not worse but like just sort of be like ha 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 like just joke along with them because like there's no point which i guess is kind of this one but i kind of like maybe that are you more impulsive or cautious oh i feel like i'm in the middle somewhere in the middle have you ever betrayed 
ever been betrayed by someone you once held close? Oh, yes. Yes, in the past I have. Um, if you had a friend in need, would you truthfully do anything, to, everything to help them, even if it requires great sacrifice on your own side? It would depend on how well I knew them. Only my closest friend. Yes, absolutely. No, probably not. That doesn't mean I wouldn't help a little, though. I feel like it depends on how well I know them. Uh, one final question, and I'll give you your results. By which of these words most accurately describes what caused you the most trauma and pain in life? Abandoned, ignored, used, failure, expectations, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Uh, forgotten, scapegoat, disappointment, accident, divorce. I feel like it's this one. Ooh, that's interesting. Fizzarelli. You're most like Fizzarelli. I only recently started to like them in the show. I think it was like the flashback episode where you get like a little bit more of what their character is. Like in the beginning, I was like, I'm eh, not really sure. But I like that I got... I like that I got them. That's really cool. Okay. You appear much stronger to almost everyone on the outside than you really are on the inside. You are a very unique and lovable individual. Definitely have a flair for the dramatics. That's true. Uh, most people you meet actually really like you, but you never see yourself as good enough or someone who tr who deserves the good things you have. A true omnivert, if there ever was one, you get energized by being around people, but sometimes you just need time to yourself too. It's all about the balance. Um, has a massive fear of failure. Uh, you could receive one criticism and a thousand com compliments, yet only the criticism will stick in your mind at the end of the day. Ooh, that's accurate. I don't like it. You're actually starting to put work into your mental health though. However, some days you regret it. Uh, used to cover Use to cover up your struggles with jokes. Oh, ain't that, ain't that true to what I just said before. But now a loved one has figured out that code and is probably the reason why you were forced to work on your mental health. <laughs> Overall, just a fun person who needs a little bit of love. Oh, he is too accurate. I love this. I like that answer. That's cool. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you today. Please like, subscribe, because it's always nice, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.